to the shop today outside. We're going to work on a Ford F-150. We're going to change the transmission fluid. Uh, so I point up here, you're going to see the pan, if you can see it up here. Once you get to the pan here, the transmission, you're going to take your 10 millimeter bolts out. There's a zillion around all around here. And then once you take out your bolts, a tip you're going to want to keep in mind is keeping two or three of these bolts at the front end here. Keep one at the end and let it tilt a little bit like that, if you see here on the pan, and let it drip down. You'll see my big old mess here. You're going to want something to catch a lot of this. Then once you drop your pan like this, you'll still have your fluid. Change your transmission filter. Put a new one in and pop it in. Make sure it's in good. Then once you get all nice and cleaned out, you can see I got a little in there again, but you can just wipe it out. Then you get your new filter pan gasic. And the trick behind this is getting your bolts again and stick it through the pan here to hold the, the gasket in place. And as you see here, you take the bolts and just stick it in the hole here and through the gasket. Some transmission pans have a reusable gasket when Ford does it, or you can just put your new one on. And once you get that filter in and you get your gasket kind of held in place with the bolts, go ahead and bolt it back on. And it's not going to be tight and torqued very much. More like hand tighten with your ratchet. And I just use this to do the job. 10 millimeter and a 3 8 ratchet for a Ford F-150. I think it's an 05 or 06. I've forgotten what year. It's got a V8 in it. Other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you again.